Vision for Longevity Lifestyle Designers. This is Zach here with SecretsOfLongevity.com. And I just completed an interview with my friend Mark Handy, who has been involved in raw food and a healthy, conscious lifestyle for some time now. And before we get right into it, I just wanted to mention that he has a few projects that he did, works on, and he um, goes around to various farmers markets selling superfoods, sprouts, chocolate. And if you don't happen to be able to find him in your area, he may mostly changes up, but he's mostly around the Orangeville, Bolton area farmers markets in southern Ontario. And if uh, you hear him talking about certain foods that you're interested in, you can check out the links below. Other than that, it was a great interview. I hope you enjoy it. Now check it out. All right, we're here with my friend Mark Handy of mbchocolate.ca. And he's been a raw foodist for how many years have you been into raw food? And Six years, pretty full on. Nice. And were you involved in other dietary practices or research before that? I was. I grew up in sort of standard American diet. Yeah. And then at, at one point decided I just didn't want to eat meat anymore. I just <laughs> yeah. didn't feel right. And so that opened up a whole gate of what am I going to eat? Yeah. And that's where I started exploring. And from there, my health, even though I started eating better foods, more pure foods, when my health started to deteriorate. Oh, yeah? Um, I, I began losing weight. Some of it at first was purposeful. I started rock climbing a lot and wanted my weight to drop so it would be easier to climb rocks. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of kept going lower and lower, and I got a little scared, and it still went lower. It ended up bottoming out at 137 okay. for a six-foot frame, right. which is pretty skinny. <laughs> and it stayed there for quite a while. I. I researched and tried different philosophies, fruitarian style, soy based diets, lentil based diets. And yeah. Were you like 137, was that like when you were vegan or were you that vegetarian? That was definitely vegan. Um, were you eating any raw food at that point? That was totally raw. That was totally that raw. That was totally raw. Totally oh. wrong. Upside <laughs> down. <laughs> Blended fruit primarily with leafy greens added and very little fruit. 80-10-10 kind of style. Oh yeah, you lost a lot of weight on that. <laughs> and it was horrible. I was trying to eat more and more and more, and the philosophy was just stuff it in. You'll, it'll feel good someday. Your stomach will stretch. <laughs> and I, I stuck with it. I was totally dedicated for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, but it just got worse did, and worse. Did you find you had any other health problems aside from losing weight? Like oh my God. energy. Energy Dental. was low. I'd wake up three times in the night to go to the washroom. I was, wow. uh, yeah, like borderline diabetic. It was ridiculous. Oh. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what what age were you roughly when this was all going on? That would have been 26. 26. 26. Just so people can get an idea, it wasn't like, you're not advanced in age or anything, and that wasn't no. like a factor of... Age or anything, it's just... No, I should have been at my prime. Right. Um, I grew up extremely athletic and just, like, fell apart. What was your highest weight before? In university bodybuilding, I on creatine and protein, and I was up around 190, mm -hmm. 195 almost. Wow. So, Mark, you are an inspiration for myself to go to Hippocrates. I met you before going there, and actually, you showed me a lot about the raw food diet that I wasn't aware of, and you were partly a reason for myself going, and you were, had told me about your experiences there, and was that sort of coinciding, did that trip down there coincide with uh, when you began to put on more weight, and actually focus on bodybuilding again? It was information through the Hippocrates Center that hearing the information really got wheels turning that I wasn't doing things in the optimal sort of fashion. Mm -hmm. um, I implement, I slowly implemented their information and started reading more about a low fruit, 
low glycemic diet. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went down there, and then actually after that, I spent a nine months in a sugar-free diet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was zero sugar, zero fruit. And it was after that nine months that things actually started to shift. It took that long until I was able to start to put some weight back on. Um, it was in, that was in January and then it was September that oh, okay. I weighed in at 137. Wow. And then over the course of the next six months, put on 50 pounds. Wow. Almost pure muscle. It was a little bit extra body fat, but not much. Hmm. It was, uh, I started off at a body fat percentage under 10 and ended up right around 10. Mm -hmm. So it was really low and still stayed fairly low. Wow. And uh, it was fast. Once my body was ready to put it on, it was just boom. Cool. So you were eating sort of a mixture between the Hippocrates diet and a superfoods type diet? At that point, I was uh, still taking a lot from Hippocrates, very low glycemic, very little. The only fruit really was uh, frozen blueberries in um, smoothies, lots of stevia to make things taste good, yeah. a lot of bee pollen, uh, Sun Warrior protein powder, lots of algaes, the, all the highest protein vegan sources, mm -hmm. not the rice and bean kind of genre. <laughs> Were you doing any sprouted beans or? Uh, none. No grains, no beans, mm -hmm. raw or cooked. Right. None. But you're doing tons of sprouts. Tons sprouts. of sprouts, tons of green, leafy greens, a lot of green juice. Right. Um, seaweeds? Seaweeds, lots of seaweeds. Cool. Were you doing a lot of nuts and seeds? And a lot of seeds, very little nuts. Oh, okay. Uh, and still to this day, I don't do much seeds, but I basically don't eat nuts. Um, some seeds for sure, chia seeds. I have quite a bit of chia seeds still. Yeah. And during um, th that period where you're putting, when you put on that 50 pounds of almost pure muscle mass, was, um, were you taking a lot of specific supplements to aid you in that process? Um, the primary thing that I took was enzymes. Right. A uh, little bit of herbs. I uh, played with different ones. Never felt any really strongly working. Mm -hmm. uh, probably ginseng. A red ginseng was the, the most uh, potent. Mm -hmm. um, played around with some different ones, but it was mostly enzymes that were right. just the theory being to digest the food, to use it instead of just like creating digestive havoc. Right. And was that uh, Wade McNutt's? It was for quite a while. It was. Um, cool. And you were also following, uh, or I should say, Wade Lightheart's uh, yeah. bodybuilding regimen mostly. Uh, for quite quite some time through it, um, I was. I really enjoyed his programs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he he's got an awesome program together. It's so thorough with so many different workouts that it really helped me stay motivated as well. Mm-hmm. Thank you.